everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment, and today's episode, guys, you could probably label it as an Action Figure Surgery .5 or something like that, because there's a lot of stuff to do here today. Not a bunch of, like, technical stuff, but a lot of switching and stuff, like we got some head swaps and some other things, and a really, really exciting thing that I'm really excited to do. I don't know how well it's going to work out. It's kind of in my mind how I'm playing it out. I think it's going to look good. It's on paper, you know, when you're running through a fix-up in your head, and you're like, you know what, I think this is going to work out. Hopefully that is the case today. Hopefully it plays out, but you guys know how action figure appointment works. We're going to try and get this episode in like 12 to 14 minutes. We're going to see how that goes, but today I got a lot of great swappages for us, and we're going to dive into it and get started on everything we're going to do here today, because that's how these things work. I'm going to run through that first, and then we will conduct the appointment itself. So let's go ahead and start off with, I guess, the most simplest things. You guys know we did make this episode, this episode, what the hell are you saying, Brad? We did make this Kofi Kingston fix up with the new Elite 7 78 Kofi Kingston, but you guys know that my eyes are misaligned, right? Like the eyes right there are a little messed up. I do like the hair on this guy, but the eyes are misaligned and it's driving me absolutely nuts. So one thing we're going to do here today is just swap the head sculpt with this Kofi over here who has a lot better looking face. You guys can probably already see it. However, I don't really care for the hair that much. Like the hair over here is a little too thick for me. I like the little streak we got going over here, but I'm just going to switch it. We can always, uh, you know, we can always change it on action figure surgery or something like that. So I am going to switch these out. We did put the uh, uh, Elite 60 or whatever kick pads or feet on here to make it look a lot better. I love the way that looks, man. That looks fantastic. That's what we did with this figure and the last Elite Kofi Kingston was absolutely fire and I love that fix up. So that is definitely what we're going to be doing here today. Another fix up we're going to do is with this Randy Orton. I went to retail and actually found Elite Series 78. I found Randy Orton and I found Drake Maverick. They were the only figures there that they had from Elite Series 78 so I guess somebody beat me to Matt Riddle and the rest of the series there. But I want to take the last Elite Randy Orton figure right here, the Elite 67 figure, and head swap it with the Elite 78, just to see what this head sculpt looks like on this body, and see what this head sculpt looks like on this body. I think that'd be a pretty good swap. Nothing too out of the ordinary or crazy, but I still think it'll look very good, so we're gonna switch these head sculpts on this Randy Orton. Another thing we're gonna do is the same thing with the Goldberg. You guys know that we do have our Elite 74 right here. I'm not a big fan of the screaming Goldberg head sculpt, and since we already have the entrance grates with you know, this head sculpt on it, I'm gonna take the extra head sculpt that came with the WCW 2 pack of lead that we reviewed yesterday. And I'm going to put this head sculpt on this Goldberg to make, to give us that, you know, that mid 2000s WrestleMania 20 Goldberg. And I think that will be a pretty good swap and a good fix up right there. So we do have three head swaps on this episode. I think those will all look good. I don't think we'll have any issues with those. One thing that I know you guys are going to be super excited about, and I know you guys talk about it all the time, you say, Where the hell are the knee pads for this Apollo Cruise? You always say, Where are the knee pads? Well, today, Brad, we're finally going to give Apollo his knee pads. And we're going to put the white knee pads on there because I finally got some extras. And I want to give a shout out to my man, Balor Figs UK, but because he is the one that came up with this fix up. But I never had the white knee pads to put on here. I had silver on there and then I ended up taking them off. And then he's been knee padless forever and ever. So today is finally the day to put these white knee pads on here and finally get this man some freaking knee pads. So I know Apollo is going to be happy about that. So we are going to put the knee pads over there. And then the last thing that we're going to do, which I'm super excited about, this is where it gets really, really interesting right here guys. Alright, so this is the base that I'm going to use to make myself an Elite Leo Rush. Now we're going to make an updated Leo Rush and a, a new one. I want to have one in my collection. Leo Rush was my favorite independent wrestler forever. He got signed to WWE. You guys know the rest. Was Cruiserweight Champion for a little bit there. And today we're going to be conducting you know the start of our Leo Rush figure. So what we're going to do is we're going the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop these legs off right here and we're going to switch these legs with Drake Maverick legs. So these are the legs. This is the same Drake Maverick I found on the Toy Hunt. I found the Randy Orton and I found the Drake Maverick. So I'm going to pop these legs off of this Drake Maverick and I'm going to put these over onto the Kalisto. From there, we are going to also pop off these kick pads because I want to put the white kick pads. You guys know th these kick pads used to be on my custom Elite Leo Rush. I'm going to take these off, put those onto those black legs with the white stripes. I think that'd be a good contrast right there. So these legs on the Kalisto with the white kick pads. From there, we are going to remove these arms and we're going to put the these white sleeved Rey Mysterio arms. I acetone the 619 designs off and I'm going to put those arms onto the Kalisto body because of the same stature, the same size. I thought about doing one sleeve. You know, we may change that at a later date. I could come back and put a Kalisto arm on there, but I do want to put the Rey Mysterio white sleeves on there with the white kick pads with a black and white attire. And then we're going to pop the head sculpt off and we're going to put the Sin Cara hands into those sleeved arms. So we're going to have a pretty much perfect base for a Leo Rush besides the head sculpt and then the tattoo.
tattoos that we'll have to add at a later date, which I am in the, the process of working on. So we're just going to build up the Leo Rush today, and this is a good idea to give you guys, if you guys want to make your own Leo Rush, I'm going to pretty much show you how to do that without the head sculptor tattoos, obviously, but I think that will be a great start for us, and we can take a look at that when it is all said and done. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. The appointment's already running in. We're like five, six minutes into this hoe, and we haven't even gotten started. So let's go ahead and get started with this, and I will see you guys when we conduct our appointment. All right, guys, so I guess the first thing we can do is go ahead and heat up the Sin Cara arms while also heating up these Callisto arms and possibly head sculpt while also heating up the Rey Mysterio arms and I guess that should be probably a pretty easy thing to do. I don't think we'll run into any issues right there and I guess at the same time, uh, let's see, I guess we can go ahead and heat up Apollo Cruz's boots because that's pretty simple swap as well. So I guess we could just heat up all of this at once and then try to get as much swapped as we can and then we'll move on to our head sculpts after we get all this stuff swapped on. I'll put the knee pads on and I'll just shut the hell up and conduct the surgery. Trusty white hair dryer, let's get it. All right, guys, let's go again and yee goo goo and I don't know what the hell I'm saying, but let's go ahead and pop off the Apollo Crews boots, and I was afraid of that gum Brad. Freaking boots didn't really get as much heat as I wanted to, at least on the back end. I got to check these knee pads real quick to see which side they're on. I should have had this prepared, damn it. I had it prepared, but then they got lost. Okay, so this is the left one. Let's see if we can even get these hoes on here cleanly. If we can get them on here cleanly, maybe we'll be able to get the rest of the surgery completed here or the appointment. This isn't a surgery, Brad. None of these guys are going under the knife, per se. Got the one knee pad, and we're coming back over to the right side. Need to get this on. I don't know how well the boots are going to go on once we get this knee pad on because, you know, that one boot didn't get heated up that much. I almost snapped the peg off trying to get that thing on, but hopefully we don't run into any issues. Hopefully the rest of the arms and stuff did get on there. So here is the right boot, and then here is the... All right, there's the left boot. We'll take a closer look at Apollo at the end. It's kind of weird seeing him with knee pads now. I feel like that's not even, I, I don't know, I don't feel right about that one. But alright, let's get over here, and we're gonna pop these hands out of the Rey Mysterio. Why is that not hot enough? Why is that not hot enough, you stupid piece of ass? The arm's hot enough, but the hand isn't, and the hand does no good. Alright, so if the hand's not hot enough, that's not going to do us anything. That that does nothing. That does nothing at all. And I guess we could try and pop these Kalisto arms off. Okay, I'm running into issues here. Good lord. Let's see if this right arm will even go on here. That's a long peg, bro. Are all pegs for Kalisto and Rey Mysterio like that? That's ridiculous. Good lord. Why is that so long? Jesus Christ. We're going to have to heat that up even longer. I don't know about this head scar. Oh, God. That's dangerous. Okay, I got it. God, dude. I thought we were about to have to, ooh, ooh, thought we were about to run into some football trouble. Alright, so what we have to do now is, God, this is putting a wrench in all my football plans, man. Alright, so we'll do this, and then... All right, the one Sin Cara hand came out and the other. Okay, this kind of works out because now these hands won't be softy dofty when we're plugging them into the Rey Mysterio sleeve, so that actually works out. But now the Sin Cara is going to go over here handless, which is kind of upsetting, but uh, okay. Now we have to put the hands off to the side, and I guess what we can do, since we have to heat up both these arms, get those hands soft, uh, we have to switch the legs still. Christ, that's, in a, that's a whole other thing to itself. Hmm, we're running out of football time here. Let's see if we can get the Randy Orton head sculpt on here while heating this stuff up, and maybe we can get all of this at once. I don't know how well it's gonna go. Again, remove your vest from your figures. Even the hoodies, man. You don't want that ish getting heat up. It will it will mess them up. So get your vest far, far away. Put your other Randy Orton head sculpt up here. And let's go ahead and see if this will work. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is the, the Kalisto arms in the back right there, so I don't know if it's gonna get heated up completely, but hopefully we don't run into, into any trouble right here but let's go ahead and hit it and see what we get. Alright guys, it's probably going to be super hot. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble like I said with the last one. Let's see if we can get the Randy Orton head sculpt off. Holy God in heaven, that is hot. See my, 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 my stuff. But we got it off. Okay, we got that Randy Orton head sculpt off. Now let's see if we can get this one. I don't know if we're going to have the same. Okay, we got it. Alright, so we're going to plop this Randy Orton, the Elite 78, over on the Elite 67 body. Holy God, his chest is just like hellfire. Alright, now we're going to pop the Elite 67 onto the Elite 78. 
Elite. Make it a nice little Randy Orton fix up. Okay, we'll, we'll put these in the pile with Apollo because they are done. So that is nice to see. So we'll take a closer look at those at the end. Now the next thing we got to do is get these hands and these little wrist gauntlets off of the Rey Mysterio and maybe okay nice we got it off in one set right there this is the right arm so we're going to try and plug this right hand right there and then the left hand for the other side plug this into here just like so now hopefully this will come off with its long ass pegs got that off beautiful beautiful we're, we're doing well now all right let's see if this arm will go in here I don't know do you guys see that how long that peg is why is that a thing I don't know why that's a thing. Bro, are these too shallow? No, they're not too shallow. I got it finally, but it's hard to get it on camera because I got to put it with so much force. All right, so there we go. Now the next thing we're going to do is heat up the legs. So we're going to heat up these legs and the Drake Maverick legs while simultaneous. Actually, that's not going to work. God dang, man. The, the 15 minutes or whatever is just effed. We're going to heat up Goldberg as well. And uh, Kofi's going to have to just come when we do the kick pads, I guess. But uh, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit it. I guess the Goldberg's probably the first thing we need to try and remove, and I'm... Oh, wow, that actually wasn't that bad. It didn't even burn my face off. And this is an Ultimate Edition. Ultimate Edition. This is interchangeable, so this should just pop right on. We shouldn't need any heat for this. And there we go. We'll take a closer look at that Goldberg at the end. All right, so four down. Now we got to move into this, and we want to pop these legs off with the ball joints. You love to see that. And we're going to pop these legs off of the Kalisto. Slide this little waist piece off. Go ahead and put that in our pile of fodder that we have accumulated over this episode over there on the sidesies. And then from there, we're going to pop the Drake Maverick legs. Oh my god, his crotch piece is on fire. Let's go ahead and just put this over here on this Drake Maverick, and then we'll just have a random random Drake Maverick figure kind of put together right here with some Kalisto boots and some Rey Mysterio legs. So that just looks interesting. And then we're going to pop the Drake Maverick legs onto the Kalisto, just like that. And now what we have to do is we have to switch out these kick pads, which I don't, yeah, they didn't get heated up enough. All right, so now what we're going to do is switch out the kick pads. And when we do that, we're going to put these kick pads in the way as well. And we're going to attempt, I, oh God, I'm scared of this because the, these head sculpts right here are kind of, kind of weird wicked, but we're going to attempt to get both the Kofi heads heated up as well. So we're going to try and attempt to get all of this heated up at the same time, and I don't know how well that's going to go, but we're going to try it anyways and see. So let's go ahead and hit this hoe. All right, guys, I don't know how well this is going to go, but we're going to attempt it anyways. Kofi Kingston head sculpt off. All right, the Elite I'm more afraid of because I don't want to snap the neck peg. Okay, we got it. All right, make sure we get the right one and pop it on here, and then we're we're done with this Kofi, man. We are done with this Kofi, and oh my God in heaven, what happened? Oh, Christ. Maybe I can salvage it. I don't know. Oh, my fudge. God dang, man. Holy shnikes, man. All right, we'll just have to look at that at the end, man. I, I, I effed it up. But as far as these kick pads are concerned, we should be able to get these on with no issue. And I'll just show you guys everything at the end here. God, those are all wobbly dobbly because they got heated up. The pegs are all freaking warped. Oh man, I'm sweating. It's so blessed hot with this hot, hold oh, this fucking hair dryer going. And then you got the hair dryer going. You got all these damn lamps. And then I'm yelling and my body temperature's rising. All right, I'll see you guys at the end when we got everything taken care of. All right, guys, so here's everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Appointment. Pretty successful episode outside of us breaking the hell out of that Kofi Kingston neck. It is not the end of the world, though. You know, it is an easy replacement. All you have to do is switch out the torso, something I really don't want to do, but it is fixable, and you can't even really notice it if you're looking at it straight on. The only way you can notice it is if you turn it to the side right there, and then you can see where the damage is done right there. So that does upset me, but this head sculpt definitely looks better because the eyes are, you know, aligned right but now the neck snapped in half, so that's just excellent. But I am satisfied with the way this came out, and I am looking to uh, put these knee pads from this Kofi Basic on something else. I'm just trying to figure that out, but there is the Kofi. Next up is the Goldberg, and I think the Goldberg turned out great as well. I think the head swap looks great. One thing is, though, is that it can't really look down all that much because of that ball joint. You guys can see it kind of looks back up, but it does look straight ahead, so I think it works out great. There's no, you know, big problems with it or anything like that. I still like it a lot, and the fix-up worked. I like it. 
him just chilling like that instead of screaming all the damn time. So that's pretty nice to see right there. Next up are the two Randy Ortons, and these both look phenomenal, bro. Like, I love the way the Elite 78 looks with this head sculpt, and I love the way the Elite 67 looks with this head sculpt. I'm a huge Randy Orton fan, so having multiple fix-ups and different stuff with the different Randy Orton figures just looks awesome. And one thing I'm just now noticing is that the, it looks like these arms are misprinted or something. You guys can see, like, there's a gap right there in his arm where his tattoo should be. That kind of pisses me off. That's not supposed to happen, and my background's not supposed to fall, but uh, that's actually a pretty easy switch, too. All you gotta do is switch some Elite Randy Orton arms with that with another Elite 67, but eventually you're gonna run out of Elite 67s, but I still like the way both of these turned out. I think they both turned out phenomenal, and I, I like them a lot. I think I like the Elite 78 one a little bit better, but uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And then our final two pieces is the Apollo Crews with the white knee pads. These look great. I love the way this came out. Again, looks kind of weird because he has knee pads now, but I know a lot of people will be happy that Apollo Crews finally has white knee pads with his white fix-up attire, and now I have a version with the black open knee pads and black boots, and then we have the white version with the white knee pads and white boots, so that looks very good. Shout out to Balafix UK again, and then we have the start of our Leo Rush, and I think this turned out pretty damn nice. I like the way it turned out. I may put some open knee pads on this guy just to hide those knees, but I think this turned out the way that I thought it would. It, it looks pretty daggum good. Again, we got to get a head sculpt in here, all the decals and the tattoos and stuff, but let me know down below, guys, should I do one sleeve, both sleeves, no sleeves, black sleeves? Let me know down below what you guys think would look the best, but I like the white kick pads tying into the black and white attire. I'll fix that Maverick 24-7. Maybe I can put uh, something to do with Leo Rush or a decal or something on there to fix it, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the appointment episode. Let me know what you thought of everything down in the comment section below. Was it a nice episode of appointment? Let me know everything that you think of all the fix-ups and swappages that we did here today. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.